Jennifer Lopez Actress and singer Jennifer Lopez is one of Hollywood's leading ladies who's also forged a successful pop and dance music career. Who is Jennifer Lopez? Jennifer Lopez danced on the TV show In Living Color before her starring role in the film Selena. She turned to music and found major success on the pop and dance charts with hits like Get Right and Play, while continuing to garner Hollywood film work. She married salsa icon Mark Anthony in 2004 and had twins, the couple split a few years later. Her recent TV projects include American Idol, Shades of Blue, and World of Dance. Early Life and Career Born July 24, 1969, in the Bronx, New York, Lopez began her career as a dancer, appearing in stage musicals and various music videos. In 1990, she won a national competition and earned a spot dancing on the popular Fox comedy television series In Living Color as one of the Fly Girls. A series of small acting jobs followed, including parts in two more series and a TV movie, Nurses on the Line, The Crash of Flight 7, in 1993. Early Movies Lopez's first feature film was the critically acclaimed Me Familia, or My Family, in 1995. She also appeared in Money Train, 1995, opposite Wesley Snipes and Woody Harrelson, and in Jack, 1996, directed by Francis Ford Coppola and starring Robin Williams. Lopez's first big break came in 1997 when she was chosen to play the title role in Selena, a biopic of the Tejano pop singer Selena Quintalana Perez, who was killed by a fan in 1995. Lopez earned widespread praise for her performance, including a Golden Globe nomination. That same year, Lopez starred in The Forgettable Anaconda and in Blood and Wine, opposite Jack Nicholson. Her role as Federal Marshal Karen Sisko in Steven Soderbergh's Out of Sight, a film based on the Elmore Leonard novel and co-starring George Clooney, further enhanced her image as a bankable movie star. Songs and Later Movies Lopez's musical career also began to take off, as she released her debut Latin pop album, On the Six, in June 1999. The album, fueled by the success of her hit single, If You Have My Love, went platinum within two weeks, making Lopez, along with Ricky Martin, one of the most influential examples of the growing Latin cultural influence in pop music. Early in 2000, Lopez was nominated for Best Dance Performance for her second hit single Waiting for Tonight but lost the award to Cher. In the summer of 2000, she starred in the science fiction thriller The Cell, in which she plays a child psychologist helping to track a terrifying serial killer. The same year, she starred in Enough, a portrayal of spousal abuse. The popularity of the multi-talented Lopez reached new heights in early 2001, when her album J. Lo debuted at number one on the pop charts, while her film, the romantic comedy The Wedding Planner, shot to the top spot at the box office in its first week of release. In December 2002, she delivered another one-two punch with the release of the record This Is Me. Then, and a starring role in the comedy Made in Manhattan, which was a box office hit, if not a critical one. In 2003, Lopez co-starred with Ben Affleck in the box office bomb Geely. Other projects included Jersey Girl, also with Affleck, and An Unfinished Life, in which she stars as a single mom taken in by her father-in-law, played by Robert Redford. She also starred opposite Richard Gere in Shall We Dance, a remake of the top-grossing Japanese flick. Personal Life Sean Puffy, Combs Lopez was briefly married, in 1997, to a Johnny Noah, a model and actor. She then had a lengthy and widely publicized relationship with rapper Sean Puffy Combs. In December 1999, Combs and Lopez were allegedly involved in a shooting incident outside a New York City nightclub, in which three people were injured. Combs was later charged with gun possession and bribery, as prosecutors claimed he offered his driver, Wardell Fenderson, $50,000 to say that the loaded gun police found at the scene of the crime was Fenderson's. Combs was acquitted of all charges, and soon confirmed that he and Lopez had separated. Chris Judd Shortly after that breakup was made public, Lopez began dating Chris Judd, a dancer who appeared in the video for her hit single Love Don't Cost a Thing. After much media speculation, the couple announced their engagement in August 2001 and were married in late September. Nine months later, the couple separated. 
Ben Affleck. In the fall of 2002, the star began dating actor Ben Affleck, they announced their engagement in November. Following rumors of the relationship's demise, the couple broke up in early 2004. They rekindled their romance and engaged again in April 2022, they remarried in August 2022. Mark Anthony Lopez subsequently married singer Mark Anthony in June 2004 at a private ceremony at her Los Angeles mansion. Returning to the big stage, Lopez found time to join forces with her husband in the 2006 biopic El Cantante. In the film, Anthony plays Hector Laveau, the internationally acclaimed salsa singer, with Lopez alongside him as Pucci, Laveau's wife. In 2007, Lopez released her first Spanish-language album, Como Alma Una Mujer, which did well on the Latin and pop charts. She found musical success again later that same year with Brave. While the title track received some attention, Lopez's personal life generated more media interest, once known for her revealing fashions. Lopez started wearing loose-fitting tops, creating speculation about whether she was pregnant. Many photos of her seemed to show a baby bump, but the official announcement didn't come until November 7, 2007. Kids Lopez gave birth to twins, February 22, 2008. The baby boy and girl, named Maximilian and Emmy, were the first children for Lopez, and the fourth and fifth for Anthony. In July 2011, Lopez and Mark Anthony announced their plans to separate. In an interview with Vanity Fair, Lopez didn't reveal the cause of the breakup, but said, I loved myself enough to walk away. With a new hit song out, the superstar refused to be deterred. I am positive, determined to move forward with my life, bring up my babies, and do the best job I can as a mother, entertainer, and person. Casper Smart to Alex Rodriguez Lopez began dating Casper Smart, one of her backup dancers, in 2011. They ended their relationship in 2016. In 2017, People magazine reported that she began dating former baseball star Alex Rodriguez. The two later opened up about their blossoming romance in the December 2017 issue of Vanity Fair. I understand him in a way that I don't think anyone else could, and he understands me in a way that no one else could ever, said Lopez. She continued singing A Rod's praises in a March 2018 interview with Harper's Bazaar, noting their similar makeup, though she wouldn't commit to tying the knot with the slugger turned broadcaster just yet. I do believe in marriage, she said. And I would love to grow old with somebody in a committed relationship. But I'm not forcing anything right now. The pair announced their engagement in March 2019, though their wedding plans were put on hold when the coronavirus pandemic struck the following year. They announced their split in April 2021. TV Projects American Idol In 2010, despite being busy with her family and both music and acting projects, Lopez decided to enter into a new phase in her career, she announced her plans to replace Ellen DeGeneres as the new female judge on the tenth season of American Idol, which had also just welcomed Aerosmith Steven Tyler as part of its celebrity judge panel. Lopez returned to the hit reality TV show for its eleventh season, earning a reported $20 million, almost double what she had made when she first signed on. In 2012, Lopez announced that she would be leaving American Idol. I honestly feel like the time has come that I have to get back to doing the other things that I do, that I put, on hold because I love Idol so much, Lopez told Ryan Seacrest on his morning radio show. Her departure from the show proved short-lived, however, as Lopez returned to American Idol for its 13th season, in 2014. Lopez also continued to work on her own music, releasing the album AKA in June of 2014. Around this time, Lopez also collaborated with Pitbull and Claudia Leet on the song We Are One for the World Cup, and went on to work on the 2015 thriller The Boy Next Door with Ryan Guzman. Shades of Blue On the small screen, Lopez joined Ray Liotta on the NBC police drama Shades of Blue, playing a corrupt cop who turns against her fellow officers to save her own neck and protect her daughter. The show debuted in 2016 to mixed reviews but found its footing and endured for three seasons. 
Also in 2016, Lopez served as a judge for the final season of the original run of American Idol and delivered the first performance of her All I Have residency at the Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas. World of Dance Lopez also was active behind the scenes, playing the role of executive producer. In July 2016, NBC announced that it would be partnering up with her for a dance competition called World of Dance, which offered a $1 million prize for the taking. The show debuted in May 2017 and later was renewed for multiple seasons. Remaining busy into 2018, the multi-talented entertainer dropped an English-language single, Us, in February, before following with the Spanish-language El Anillo and the bilingual Dinero in the spring. Later in the year, her track Limitless accompanied her return to the big screen in the rom-com second act. In early 2019, J-Lo was tapped to deliver a tribute to Motown at the Grammy Awards. Although she sizzled with a high-energy performance, she also was enveloped in the criticism over whether the Grammy should have selected a black artist for the tribute. Hustlers That summer, Lopez showcased a different set of moves as a scheming stripper in Hustlers. It was a career-defining performance in the eyes of many critics, and the actress received a Golden Globe not among a slew of nominations, though she was notably snubbed by the Academy Awards. Super Bowl Halftime Show In September 2019, it was announced that Lopez would be joining forces with Shakira for the Super Bowl 2020 halftime show in Miami, Florida. I love that the Super Bowl has two women performing this year, that they have two Latinos performing this year, Lopez said. It's the marker of a new time, not just for the NFL, but for this country. It sends an important message. The two performers delivered the goods with their high-energy set, with J-Lo breaking out a Hustlers-inspired pole dance before switching gears to sing alongside her 11-year-old daughter Elle in celebration of Latin pride.